Hey gang, Blake is down here from Sonic Trinity Studios. Website is sonictrinitystudios.com. Go to the website, click on the Facebook link, and check us out. See how you like us. All right. I do a lot of drum groups in Superior Drummer. I love Superior Drummer. It's an awesome tool, basically because you have a lot of different drum sets to choose from. They're realistic sounding. You can create grooves in Easy Drummer. I use both, Easy Drummer and Superior Drummer. Put it into a timeline, separate everything out, and then select it all, move it up into a track, and then you can take that and apply Superior Drummer right on top of it. Superior Drummer, in my opinion, has a lot more power, a lot more drum kits, a lot more flexibility. So <clears throat> the problem that I was having, and if I wanted to create a song with Superior Drummer, with a drum groove, everything else is audio. I got this MIDI data here. If I wanted to ship this out to, say, a colleague and say, hey, can you take these tracks and throw them into your DAW and, you know, mix it? I want another set of ears on this to make sure everything is good, so on and so forth. He comes back and he says, well, I can't do it because I don't have Superior Drummer. And the MIDI data is basically useless to me. So <clears throat> here's the deal. Like I said, I went on YouTube and tried to find this specifically for, for Presona Studio 1 4.5. I found, and it was for Presonus like 2, Presonus 2.5, nothing current. And it didn't apply to 4.5 because this is a newer console. It's got all these new features and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go ahead and do this, and you'll be able to see how to easily create stems from a MIDI file, specifically Superior Drummer. It's really cool and really fast, by the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig into it. Normally, when you have a MIDI data track, you can explode pitches to tracks. Yes, we can do that, not a problem. It gets a little messy though, because each one of this little MIDI data on each one of the key on the keyboard, it basically will do a track for this, a track for that, a track for this this one here, a track for this one here. It gets really monotonous and you have to go back and name it accordingly. It just, it takes up a lot of time. Well, I didn't want to take up that much time. So, because I don't have a lot of time. Time is money, as they always say. So here's what we're going to do, this, and we're going to first separate it out into channels. All right, so. We're going to go to view, go to console, and we're going to go to like that. So superior drummers here. So we're going to go in here, we're going to expand it. And then previously I went in here to superior drummer and I went ahead and separated all just adjusted the bleed. Don't have a lot of bleed on the snare drum, just enough to give it some, hum some human feel, but I ended up fighting frequencies because of it. So. Uh, just a little housekeeping. Decrease the bleed. I go in here and set all the all the faders to like one level. Makes it makes it simple. And then go into each channel and a, and assign the output as a different output. Like a kick has one and two. Kick out has three and four. Snare top has five and six. Snare bottom seven and eight. Hi hat nine and ten. So and and so forth. So. What we're going to do is that we're going to take each, each one of these and then just select. And what this is going to do is that it's going to create your channels out. All right. So here's <clears throat> just for housekeeping purposes. Here's what I'm going to, here's what I usually do. I usually go in and say, okay, I got one and two. I'm going to go in and say kick in and kick out. Oh, I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible because watching me do this is kind of like watching paint dry or grass grow. So, you know, I'm doing this as quickly as I can. So kind of bear with me. Uh, what's the next one? Hi-hat. Hi-hat. Oh, not hi-ho-hat. Hi-hat. Um, Hi-ho-hat. That's a new name for that. All right, so we've got Tom's. Tom's was all in 
like all encompassed with one in one channel. Like you got Tom one, two, and three that's all encompassed into a stereo track. All right, so toms, uh, we got overheads, and we've got an ambient mic, and whoops, ambient mic, and we've got a ambient a mono track, <clears throat> which I probably I may use, I may not use, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. And, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, let me make sure it's going to play. There we go. All right, a minute ago it wouldn't play. All right, so this is just a little simple drum groove that I went ahead and put together in Easy Drummer and then copied it and then made an instrument track and then applied Superior Drummer to the instrument track and then just copied the Easy Drummer drum groove and then Superior Drummer. I like Easy Drummer just for drum grooves because it's real easy. I got the I got the timeline there. I could separate it out, but all my little fills, adjust the tempo, you know, so on and so forth, and then copy the whole thing, throw it up into a track, and then call it a day. We can us we can apply the processing to it. We can take these um, and we can create a bus for it and we can put a, um, you know, we could put like a, like a compressor on it. We could put, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's, uh, where's my uh, multi -trend dynamics uh, compressor. You know, we can put the compressor on it. We can do an EQ. Um, and other type of whatever we want to do. Now, you want to take these channels here. And you want to bang them out into separate tracks. Alright. So couple ways you can do it like I said you can in this session here you can go in here and you can right click and you can go explode pitches to tracks again not gonna hurt anything it's just gonna create a lot more work for you all right so easy way to do it check this out and I know I've like gone to China and around Europe and back again to do this but it's all in the backstory Context is everything, right? So here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to go here, and we've got everything set out into channels. Very cool. Oh, you're going to love this. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're going to go export stems. All right. I'm going to select channels here, and I'm going to deselect the, the bus. So these channels here are all your drums. All right. And we're going to pick a spot to put it. I'm just going to put it on one of my external hard drives and we're going to call it between the loop. Uh, you can also set between song and end marker, between uh, each marker, and also start and end, set the duration time, so on and so forth. Uh, you want to preserve the mono tracks. Um, you want to write the tempo to or the audio files. You don't want to do an import track or use real time processing because if you use real time processing, it's going to play through the whole thing and you're going to sit here and wait forever for it so don't need to change anything okay this may be where you want to place your files when after the stems are created so we're going to click ok it's going to do its thing and wait for it ba ba bing yes all right so now we have kick in, kick out, that are actually WAV files. All right. So now you could take these these bad boys and you can just bring them in. Oops. You can bring them into your session and they're all in WAV files. Oh, so nice. So, so, so nice. Yes. And then you can get rid of the kick. You can get rid of this one if you wanted to. So very, very cool. Let's go ahead and expand that out a little bit, and you'll be able to hear, be able to see it. Now you can go ahead and colorize it, however you want to, or brown, or red, or whatever color you like. I like to go to kick, 
<clears throat> you know, change these to mono. Um, let's bring this out a little bit. Snare, mono, snare top, mono. I'll leave the toms as stereo because there's multiple toms. It's like the rack toms on here. Overheads are stereo, of course. Ambient stereo and mono. I'm going to change that to mono. All right, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go, let's see. Oh, hi-hat. I want that mono as well. So here, here. If I hit the right key, uh, kick in, kick out, snare bottom, snare top. I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to say bounce selection. And it's going to convert all your stereo tracks into mono tracks, which are a lot easier to deal with especially for our drum kit. So, without further ado, I'm going to kill that. And you can take these, and you can select those, and you can hide these from the console if you want to. You know, we're going to take, oops, yeah. All right, we're going to take that, and we're going to take all this, and assign it to the drum bus. Here, all your processing's here, and you can also, of course, you know, kick in, kick out, rearrange them however you want to. And with the snare bottom, it's always a good idea to, uh, because normally, even with Superior Drummer with a snare drum bottom. It's realistic, and nine times out of ten, you can either invert the snare microphone in Superior Drummer, or you can invert it here. Set this all to our, to our drum bus. Drum bus going out to the uh, about to the master bus, and we're going to play it. And that's like really loud. <laughs> You know, because I went and increased it. Sorry if that hurt your ears. So that's basically it. So now you have WAV files that you can deal with. You can get rid of your instrument track. This is gone. Remove it. Done. Once you get your MIDI track all situated, everything's good. Break it out into channels, and then take those channels and Create the stems, wave files, then re or then re-import them back into your session. Very easy, very nice. Apply all your processing. It's really cool. Anyway, this is Blake and Stein from SonicTrinityStudios.com. Please visit our website. Please visit us on Facebook. Links down at the bottom. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and we'll.